For months, speculations have circulated that Samsung will release two variants of the upcoming Z Fold 6. Some speculated on a more inexpensive FE version with fewer features, while others hoped for an upgraded Ultra model with a sleeker design and greater specs. As we approach closer to the July Unpacked event, it appears that only the normal Z Fold 6 will be released first, with a second variant coming later. Now, here's some possibly upsetting news for those looking for anything fresh from Samsung's foldable portfolio. The much-discussed Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim could be the W25, which is expected to ship in October in China. This information comes from the trustworthy Lika Ice Universe. For a brief recap, Samsung normally sells a rebranded version of its Z-series foldables in China each year. Last year's Z Fold 5 was also available in China as the W24. It has identical internals, but with a fancy gold-accented design and the highest RAM or storage combination by default. This year's Galaxy WU25 appears to be breaking the trend by featuring physical changes from the conventional Z Fold 6 that the rest of the world will see. According to the leaker, the WU25 will be lighter and thinner than the standard Z Fold 6. This could be because Samsung is dropping S Pen support from the W25, which could imply removing the digitizer layer beneath the screen. While this adjustment may not dramatically reduce the phone's weight or thickness, it may allow Samsung to reorganize some internal components more efficiently. The tweet also states that the W25 will be larger than the standard Fold 6, implying a new form factor or aspect ratio for the outside display solving a popular complaint about the Z Fold series. It would be fascinating to see if Samsung positions this revised Z Fold 6 model as a more inexpensive or premium choice. The sleeker design may pitch it as a premium product, but the lack of S Pen support could be a disadvantage. While Samsung may eventually distribute this thinner Z Fold 6 form globally, it appears more likely that it will be a China-specific launch to compete with local companies such as Vivo and Huawei, which currently offer more advanced foldable designs. For foldable phone enthusiasts in the United States, it appears that Samsung foldables will receive minimal improvements for another year. However, the impending Pixel Fold 2 could inject some much-needed excitement into the market. The table includes all of the main characteristics that we believe are most likely for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. These features are mostly based on leaks, and where there is conflicting information, we have either included many alternatives or selected the most trustworthy or widely heard. So as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 will most likely feature a 7.6-inch 120Hz folding 8 and AMOLED display. These are the same specifications as the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, although the Z Fold 6's screen could be brighter at 2600 nits. The Galaxy Z Fold 6's folding screen may also be greater resolution than the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which is 1812 by 2176 while a Z Fold 6 may only be slightly higher with 1856 by 2160. Opinions on the size of the cover screen range, with one source claiming it will be 6.2 inches, similar to the Z Fold 5, another claiming it will be 6.4 inches, and others dividing the difference at 6.3 inches. The Z Fold 6 screen could include anti-glare technology, while another says Corning Gorilla Armor, making it more robust than its predecessor's screen. Based on previous experience, we should expect an AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120 Hz and a resolution of at least 904 by 2316, though the resolution may increase as the device grows in size. The Z Fold 6 will very definitely have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, which is the same as the one found in the Galaxy S24 Ultra and many other phones, and it is the successor of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. So not only is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 a logical possibility, but it has also been mentioned. It could contain up to 16 gigs of RAM. That is an increase above the Z Fold 5's 12 gigs. So with that plus the planned chipset upgrade, this phone could be substantially more powerful. However, according to an early benchmark of the Z Fold 6, there will be a version with 12 gigs of RAM, and another leak claims that all Z Fold 6 models will have 12 gigs, so we're not sure what's going on. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 will have the same storage options as the current model, which are 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and one terabytes. The cameras may be the weak link in the Z Fold 6 specifications, 
as most sources suggest that the Z Fold 6 will have the same cameras as the Z Fold 5. On the back, there would be a 50 megapixels main camera, a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a 10 megapixels telephoto lens with optical zoom 3x. The front will include a 10 megapixels selfie camera, while the foldable display will house a 4 megapixels sensor behind the screen. However, one source claims that the Z Fold 6 may inherit one of the Galaxy S24 Ultra's cameras, while another claims that the Z Fold 6 will include an enhanced underscreen camera. So while some enhancements are likely, most reports indicate that the camera on the Z Fold 6 will not be enhanced. Finally, a source claims that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 will include a 4600 mAh battery. Others suggest the Z Fold 6 will have a 4400 mAh battery, similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. We've heard that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 battery from several sources, so we believe it's more likely. Some of the same sources also claim it will charge at 25 Do, just like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Of course, this could all be untrue, and we won't know for sure until the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is shown, which is expected on July 10. So, if you have any questions, share them with us in the comment section, then I will see you in the next one.